Alex, a two on defeat here tonight against the Rob Virginia Raiders. Give us your thoughts. A uh, bit of pill to swallow, I think, there. I think we dominated the game, and in the majority, I think we played really well. We just made a couple of mistakes, conceded goals, and we didn't put the back of the net, which we know is an issue at the moment. Uh, obviously, the first period, it was... It felt like a slow start, obviously, Romford, there was a lot of pressure in the first period, particularly the first 10 minutes, then getting the first goal of the game. The team bounced back well after that, though. Yeah, no, I think we started well. We talked about it before the game. We talked about being ready. The guys were ready. We had a good warm-up. We came out all right, and the first goal was my fault. We turned over on their blue and straight back down the other end of the goal, and we never really were able to get the momentum back. I think penalties didn't help. I think we lost a bit of momentum with that, but, um, you know, credit to Romford, they're uh, they're a good young side, and uh, and uh, we were we were unlucky tonight. Obviously, a good young side, as you said. It was a uh, man with probably the most experience on that team, Danny Milton, with a man of the match performance of them, 38 saves on the night. Uh, one of the better performances we've seen in this rank this year. Yeah, actually, probably one of the best performances from us as well, which is really weird. You know, we talked about it. I thought we played really well tonight. Danny Milton's a great goalie. I've known him for a long time, and. You can't uh, shoot the puck out of goalie for most of the time, but and then when we did, you know, make some good shots, he came up with some great saves. Um, Trender one was probably one of the, the the best ones there in the second, but um, yeah, he's a great goalie, and we we've got to start putting the puck in the net. We, you know, we didn't get some bounces that I get, but we've got to get guys in front of the goal. We've got to get rebounds. We've got to get some momentum. We've got to get shots from the point off quicker, better, and hopefully that will uh, see our goals increase, and then hopefully we'll uh, win some more games. Uh, obviously, you mentioned penalties as well. There was uh, seven big penalties as well tonight, especially in the second, third period when the, you was chasing the game. Uh, especially the third, the first penalty was 23 seconds in when you're already having to kill one penalty. How frustrating is that as yeah. a coach? Massive. We talked about in the room, you know, if you're 2-1 down, which was the second goal was on a power play, so we conceded on the penalty kill. You can't get back into a game with we've, we've, we've got 18 guys dressed tonight can't get back in the game if people are taking penalties. Now I get penalties sometimes happen, but a lot of our penalties are silly penalties. Too many men roughing in the roughing in the offensive zones, silly tripping calls. And that's that's not good enough. And I've told the guys in the room, you know, they those mistakes have cost us tonight because we didn't we weren't able to get the momentum back um, until the very end. I think we pushed really hard in the third, even with the penalties that we were faced. But um, we needed three lines, four lines going to be able to generate the offense that we needed. And some of the guys that have to play the penalty kill are then our guys that are expected to go and score the goals. But it's a bit difficult when you're, when you're blocking shots and defending for, I don't know, 20%, 30% of the game tonight, which is what it felt like. So, uh, like I said, a bit of pill to swallow, but um, the performance was good. And if we can take that performance in tomorrow, we like him, Victor. So let's see if we can uh, take some points from there. Also, you say tomorrow, in Victor is a place that has sort of been a happy hunting ground in the last few years, but obviously given the recent fall of the teams, you've got to be a bit pensive going into tomorrow. No, look, we're, we're confident. We like we like playing there for some strange reason. And we're, you know, we're at full strength at the moment, barring one or two, obviously with the suspensions. But um, look, we're, we're always confident. You know, we, we've, we've come a long way since the time I've started and we're no longer the team that just is happy to, you know, to have a good performance. We, we're expected to win games and we're confident that we can win them. It's just getting the lucky bounces and guys just going that extra mile to, to put the back in the net or do, you know win a battle. And we're going to hopefully do that tomorrow and uh, get some points on the road. And obviously, one final one, we've got all the depressing stuff out of the way. Tonight was a big night in terms of milestones. So many, uh, the main one being the 300th appearance of the Devils for Chico Cup. Absolutely wonderful. Um, a great... Um, Great player for this club. He's been a been the, the wall that we call him, as, as it were, for us for so many years, and he wins us so many games. And I think he got the Player of the Month for January this tonight as well, which is just testament to his character and, and the commitment that he's given to this club. And he's a wonderful player and a great role model for everyone. And yeah, there was a few more. Obviously, Lockie was in there as well, and I think Pitsy got a uh, point recognition. Yeah, so uh, Lockie's 300th career game. Mark went through 200 points of the Devils, and yourself, your 500th career assist. Chisel us all this, but um, no, look, the, the, the appearance ones and Mark's ones are great, you know, they, they've been great players for us, Lockie, Chico and Mark, and obviously we're really proud of it and, it, and it shows that we're able to keep guys in the team, you know, we've got a great core, we're building our core again, we're sort of in a, in a rebuild, we know that, we've talked about it, but um, during that time we've got to get some performances on the, on the along the way and get some points too. Alex, let you go, Thank you.